This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's continue on our journey of discovery in the develop module and tell you what, let's pick up this image right here. And let's take that into develop with the letter D on your keyboard shortcut or clicking up here. Either way, it'll work. Let's make her bigger. And I'm going to go to a 1 to 2. That's my default right here. She's a perfectionist. She's got a couple of blemishes. I call those beauty marks, not blemishes. And she wants me to remove those from her face. She wants a perfect skin. What do we do? Well, tell you what. Let's come over here to this tool right here. Now you can click that button or you can press the letter Q on your keyboard and you get the spot removal tool. What it does is it allows you to heal or clone. Actually, I should say heal and or clone. You can do both or one or the other. Cloning and healing are very different. If you've ever used Photoshop, you know that. Cloning says, okay, I'm gonna physically take this piece and I'm physically going to move it over here for you. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to cut it out, make a copy, and put it over here. So let's try cloning on one of these spots. Now here's the clone tool. Go ahead and select it down here. You've got two options, size and opacity. Size, obviously, is the size of the brush. I'll show you a shortcut on that in a second. And then you've got opacity, and opacity is how intense the effect is. If we come over here and start moving, I like my brush to be about the same size, a little bit bigger than the problem I'm trying to correct. Now that's actually pretty good, but let me show you a shortcut. If you press the left and right brackets, you can increase or decrease the size of that little circle that we're going to use. Now we're on the clone tool, right over the spot, and I'm going to click my mouse one time. This is kind of neat. What happens is you get two circles. Where you clicked is the spot you're fixing. The other circle is the spot you're fixing it with. If I move that other spot, you can move these. That's what I like about this. Look what's happening. You say, whoa, that looks horrible. Well, we're cloning. I want that spot, which is a lighter flesh tone, to cover that spot. If we go ahead and click and set it, we can see that it's not working. Now, you notice we also still have these circles up here. And I don't want those. Down here, watch what happens when I move off the image. They go away. Of course, that's horrible. We're going to fix that. But that's because I'm in Tool Overlay, and the option I've chosen is Auto. Auto, my favorite one. If I'm in there, I see them. If I'm out here, I don't. If I click the word Auto, you've got Always. Always show them no matter what. Just show me the selected one or never show me any of them. Auto is my favorite. I'm going to leave that on. Now, we can't use that. That's ridiculous. So what do we do? Let's move back in. Let's go ahead and select one of those two circles and press the delete key. That's the backspace key in Windows. Same key, different name. Let's start again, but let's use the right tool. We're going to use the healing tool. Come over here, select it. Get on that spot right about there and click. Now watch the difference when I move this one. What it's doing is it's picking up the texture, let's say that, the texture of her face, but when it moves it back over there as a circle, it's saying what's around it tonally and brightness-wise is different. I'm going to change it. It creates almost a flawless, spotless removal. Now, if I go ahead and move out, you can see that actually looks pretty dang good. Now we have one more because she's a perfectionist. It's right here. I know where it is. So I'm going to click right there. And we're going to do the same thing. And we can stay close. You can move over here. See how it doesn't really matter? But it will pick up stuff. You know, I don't want to put another blemish up there. So get into a nice area and just go ahead and click again. Move out if you want to see it. Move back in. One more down here. Let's go ahead and get right about there. Click and then move over. Again, any area is going to probably work here as long as the texture on the face matches the texture down there. Move out and move back in. Now, one of the things that you can do here 
sometimes when you select one of these areas, you get the whole thing done. You decide that it wasn't big enough or you kind of heal too big of an area. You didn't need to go that big with it. What you can do is come back over to any one of these that we're working on and you notice if you touch the edge, the tool changes. If I click now in drag, I can make that area bigger or I can make that area smaller just by moving back and forth. Of course, once I let go, it'll heal it again and change the tonal values of it. If you don't want one of these for whatever reason, remember, all you have to do is click on it and delete it. But the other thing is, is you're still in control of each one of these areas. So for example, I can come over here and change the size, same way I did it over here. Or I suppose I could change the opacity. Now I'm working with the one I have selected, don't forget that. But if I change the opacity, you can see it start to come back. Now, in most cases, I want 100%, but not in all. Sometimes a little bit of the original is not too bad to make it look exactly the way you want it to look. You say, well, I want to see the way it looked before. Press the backslash key. There's the before, and there's the after. Obviously, we're not really doing a whole lot here. It's not really that hard. Small things really do work very easily with these tools. But notice I pressed the backslash key. There's a problem with that. Let's say we did other things to this image. We change the color. We, we change the tonal value, the exposure of the whole image. When you press the backslash key, basically what happens is everything goes away. Everything we would have done to this image would be back to the normal original image. I only want to see basically the on off for the heel. Well, that's when you click this button right here. This button right here is kind of like a flip. But all it does is turn off the spot removal. The backslash turns off everything. Now, in our case, it's not really making any difference because that's all we've done so far. But if you're doing a lot of things, remember these tools have that little switch down there, and it only turns off that one thing. So cloning and healing, very different things used wherever you need. So how about using some cloning? Let's do this. Let's turn off the tool with a Q. That's the shortcut key. I'm going to come down here. Well, you know what? Her sleeve moved up, and she really didn't want that tattoo there. You say, well, okay, let's take care of that real quick. Let's press the letter Q. Let's go into the healing brush tool. Let's come over here. We're going to use a bigger brush, obviously. So I'll use the right bracket key, and maybe something about like that. So we click once. We move this area over. We could try different stuff. Remember, it's going to work in a sense, but watch what happens. See how it brought some of the sleeve into her flesh tones? The healing brush tool looks with an intelligent eye on the surrounding pixels, and whatever's surrounding it becomes part of the blend. So in this case, it's not going to work. Let's do this. Let's go to the clone tool. Actually, let's come back into this one and delete it. Start from scratch. Let's do this. Let's get right about here. Uh, actually, I'm going to use something a little bit smaller. I'm going to get right about there. Let's make that maybe a little bigger. I want to get that top of that star too. I'm going to click. Now I need to move around, but I have a problem. Remember, whatever the area is that I've got my circle on is what's going over there. It's not going to make it lighter. It's not going to make it darker. I've got to be very careful what I choose now. It's not like the healing brush. So I'm going to get to right about there and let go. Come back out again. Better. We have more work to do, but that's, that's at least a start. Let's come over here again. We're going to do another one. We're going to do one right about here. But notice something. As I get close to that spot, it thinks I'm trying to resize it. If I get inside here, it thinks I want to move it. But I need to get over that spot right about there. Here's a trick. Come down here and click. Now move this one. That's the spot we're changing. Move that one over on top of this. Now take this one and put it where you want it. One more. Little tiny spot right about there. Now we might change that by making this bigger, 
but in doing that, we're going to get up here too, so we can't. I want a smaller one here, so I'm going to use my left bracket key to make it smaller. Again, I can't do this, see, it won't let me. I'm going to start here by clicking. Then I'm going to move that area over that one. And then getting in here, I'm going to try my best to make that work. And that's actually not too bad. It took us three clones to make it happen. I could have done this in Photoshop a little bit differently, so I might have actually brought this in instead of doing it this way. But we've successfully changed the image. Let's go ahead and get out of the tool with the Q. Let's go ahead and take her back down to normal size. And we can use the backslash key in our case to see the before and the after. Cloning and healing, two really powerful tools in this program. On to the next.